Question 1. What advantage over an aquatic organism does a terrestrial organism have with regard to obtaining oxygen for respiration? Terrestrial organisms breathe oxygen directly from the air, while aquatic organisms obtain dissolved oxygen from water. Air contains more oxygen than water, making it easier for terrestrial organisms to absorb oxygen. Aquatic organisms, like fish, use gills for breathing, which requires continuous water flow to extract oxygen. Terrestrial organisms have lungs in humans or tracheal systems in insects, which are more efficient for oxygen absorption. Question 2. What are the different ways in which glucose is oxidized to provide energy in various organisms? Glucose oxidation occurs in two ways depending on oxygen availability. Aerobic respiration with oxygen happens in most plants and animals. Glucose breaks down completely into carbon dioxide, CO2 and water, H2O, releasing a large amount of energy, ATP. Equation Glucose plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water plus energy, ATP. Anaerobic respiration without oxygen happens in some microorganisms like yeast and human muscles during heavy exercise. Glucose is partially broken down into lactic acid in humans or alcohol in yeast, releasing less energy. Equation In muscles, glucose gives lactic acid plus energy. Equation in yeast, glucose gives alcohol plus carbon dioxide plus energy. Question 3. How is oxygen and carbon dioxide transported in human beings? Oxygen transport. Oxygen from the lungs binds with hemoglobin in red blood cells to form oxyhemoglobin. This oxyhemoglobin is carried by the blood to different body cells. Oxygen is released where it is needed for respiration. Carbon dioxide transport. CO2 is mainly carried in the blood as bicarbonate ions, HCO. Some CO2 also binds with hemoglobin to form carbaminohemoglobin. The blood carries CO2 back to the lungs, where it is released and exhaled. Question 4. How are the lungs designed in human beings to maximize the area for exchange of gases? The lungs have a large surface area due to the presence of millions of tiny air sacs, alveoli. Alveoli walls are very thin, allowing quick gas exchange. The alveoli are surrounded by capillaries, which help in efficient oxygen and co-exchange. The lungs contain moist surfaces, which help oxygen dissolve before diffusion. Continuous blood flow maintains the concentration gradient, ensuring faster gas exchange. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to support our hard work and more amazing videos.